Uh, my name's Philip Greer. I come from Stoke-on-Trent. Uh, I live in Bucknell. Um, I work at a local high school and uh, I've been coaching and running for probably about 30 odd years now. What influenced me is when I was a child, I had a rheumatic fever and I was paralysed from the waist down. Um, it's quite severe rheumatic fever. It uh, leaves you with a weak heart and you can die from it and, and very often people do die from it. Um, but I had it for about two years, I lost the use of my legs. I, I, it made me more determined really to prove the world wrong and I, and I knew deep down inside that I was a very strong and determined person, even as a child. And I knew that if I was given the chance to get my legs back, that I'd prove everybody wrong. I then went on to a rehabilitation centre and, uh, and bit by bit I got back the use of my legs. By the time I was about eight or nine, I was starting to walk again. 1982, uh, the Potteries Marathon arrived and I knew I could run a really, really fast marathon. So I set about getting myself a coach, Dave Hollings, and Dave spent uh, the next 10 to 15 years coaching me and, and training with me. And over that period of time, I've run 28 marathons now. I've run in nine national championships over four different distances, on the road and on cross country. And uh, I've ended up running two hours 39 on the Potteries Marathon and two hours 38 in the London Marathon, which are both national qualifying times. Uh, and I was very, very proud of that. Um, in, that in 2004, I started to coach a guy named Alex Derricott, who uh, would who, never run for Great Britain, but he always wanted to. And uh, we had to get him into the top six in the European trials to do that. And he'd only ever finished 17. So uh, after coaching him for about 18 months to two years, uh, we went to the trials and Alex came fifth, which got him his Great Britain vest for the first time. Uh, I, went, I went out to Holland and Belgium with him to the European Championships where he represented Great Britain and he came back with a gold medal. So I think looking back on my life I've, I've achieved a hell of a lot considering people said that I'd never achieved nothing and I was in a wheelchair and paralysed. And to put the pinnacle on, on all my career I've now been chosen to carry the Olympic flame through Stoke-on-Trent which is a city I've lived all my life in and I'm very, very proud of it and nobody will be a prouder man when I carry that torch in Ireland.